One of the best things about the Olympics is hearing personal stories of perseverance from our athletes, so it's fitting. We have two of the most inspiring in our studio this morning. Four years ago, Calgary's Gilmore Jr. was a short track speed skater when he slipped and crashed into the boards, fracturing two vertebrae. He vowed to recover. When he did, he switched over to long track skating, where he's now a medal hopeful for Sochi. And a little more than a year ago, Airdrie's Brianne Tutt was skating at the Olympic Oval when she collided with another skater, hit the ice, broke her collarbone, her ribs, bones in her back. She also fractured her skull. This is even hard to say. The incident left her with Bell's palsy. She too has recovered and qualified for the Olympics. Gilmore and Brianne join us this morning. Is that hard to look at for oh. you? It's hard to say for me. I mean, not that you, you don't want to relive this stuff, but this happened. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, it's kind of crazy for me. And four years ago, it seems not too long ago that mm -hmm. I was, you know, in the hospital and stuff. But uh, yeah, things kind of worked out for the both of us. And I think Brienne's makes me make my injury kind of look uh, less less severe. But uh, yeah, tell us sort of more about what happened there. It really was just bad luck. Really, that's yeah. all it was. Just at the wrong place at the wrong time. But it is what it is, and I'm happy that to have recovered and made the achievements that I have. Was there any doubt about your recovery during the process, or you knew you were just going to get right back at it? There was definitely a lot. I definitely had some serious injuries that could have, even just normal daily life could have been altered. So it was day by day, and then we just took it in stride. And the better I felt, the harder I trained, and it all worked out for the best. It all worked out for the best. Here you are. The announcement was made yesterday. Yeah. That's the official announcement. How far before that did you both know that you would be going to Sochi? I was, uh, we kind of knew, uh, the trials were like three weeks ago, uh, right. the end of January 3rd, so we had a good idea of, you know, who was going to be on the team, so it, we kind of had to keep hush-hush on yeah. for three weeks, which was kind of almost hard to do, you know, you're, you, know, you just made the Olympics, but uh, definitely yesterday was a highlight of, you know, my life so far, yeah. and getting that jacket was yeah. super, super important. Brian, what did that feel like yesterday? It was overwhelming. There was so many people. There was so much media, so much support from the local clubs came, a school came to support us. And it was just really cool to finally get that jacket and be like, OK, I'm on this team. I'm going to Sochi. It made everything a lot more real. I feel like I'd be sobbing. <laughs> I'd be heaving. Um, y your families must be so incredibly proud of you. What are they saying to you? Oh, they're definitely all excited. Uh, most of my family will be making the trip over to Sochi with me. so. You know, as much as, you know, they took a big risk and they bought all their tickets, booked all their hotels and stuff. So it's almost a relief to them that I'll be mm -hmm. joining them there. But, uh, yeah, they're all super excited and uh, they can't wait. Yeah, Brianne, what yeah. about you? Uh, my family does everything more last minute. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't get the luxury of flying as far ahead as Gilmore's yeah. did. But um, my, a couple of them are going and then a couple of them are staying back and just watching on TV. And you are heading out. You said Saturday you guys are going to Germany. And I, ha I really hadn't thought about this before. You're going to go acclimatize because the time change is so dramatic. So you're going to be in Germany for about a week. Is that right? Yeah, five days. So we'll be there. We're just going to try to get as close, as close to um you know, to the Sochi time zone as we can and still be able to skate and they have a you know really nice outdoor oval there and mm -hmm. so we're just going to try to get ourselves prepped and ready for Sochi as much as we can. And, and you were yeah. talking about also just the, the plane trip, it's not just, I mean, it's not a nine hour, ten hour rest for you, you actually have to be working and conscious while you're taking the trip over. Yeah, I think it's most important when flying to make sure you don't get sick on mm -hmm. planes because it's such a small tight area and you just got to Make sure you bring your own food, healthy food, and just stay rested and stay relaxed and get up and stretch whenever you can, for sure. Well, you know, all of Canada is right behind you guys. We wish you all the best in Sochi. Uh, when do you first hit the ice there? Uh, I'll be skating on February 10th and 12th, 500 meters and th uh, the 1,000 meters. So, yeah, I would do the sprints. Yeah, and I'm racing just on the 16th. Okay, so. well, we're with you guys. We'll be watching very closely. Come back and see us with yeah. your medals, will you? Yeah, for Hopefully. sure. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Awesome, thank you. Uh, still to come, our gourmet mac.